Ripko got to that high post, cut in one step, let it go for about 10, and we're tied at 22. Now East of May flipping it into Gately. Then he banks it in. Nice play by Caden Gately. Got it, barely had it in his hand, just banked it off the glass, and Salem back with that two-point lead. Reese. Trying to drive in the paint all the way down. His shot no good off to the side. Conkle brings it down. Gunner falls down and keeps it alive to Easton May. May gives it back to Conkle as he crosses the timeline. 24-22, Salem on top. Conkle stands out there giving everybody a little bit of a breather here right now. 2-3 zone for Mountain View. Conkle, right side pass to Sanders, gets it down low to Easton May. May from 10 feet, the jumper too hard. Brought down and controlled there by Pruitt, and then Easton May fouls him, and that'll put Pruitt at the line. Silly foul by Easton May there. Missed the shot when grabbing for the ball. Picks up his second foul. And that is team foul six. Sorry, I had... uh, Miscounted the first time. 6.26 to go. The next foul will put Mountain View in the bonus. Three-pointer from the far side. No good, but under control by Conkle on the missed shot there by Frazier. And then Conkle called for carrying the ball. Conkle brought it down. Started his way up the floor. They called him for carrying the ball. Gives the ball back to Mountain View. This is not unusual down here at Mountain View to get those kind of calls. The flip inside comes to Frazier. Frazier out to Ripko. Ripko from that high post. Another jumper. Nothing but net. Ripko's got 12, and we're tied again at 24. Points off turnovers. Always key in basketball games, and there's a turnover and a quick two by Mountain View. Here's the pass. Stolen away. Right there by Reese, all the way down, getting it to Gaines. He misses it. Reese with a rebound, and he scores. A steal by Mountain View, another turnover, and another basket. As 26-24, Mountain View just that quickly. May, bounce pass to Conkle. Beyond three, across to Sanders. Inside it goes to Gately. Gately off the glass. It will not go, and he can't put it in from two feet away. Caden's got to get up on that glass and just use it for leverage. Instead, he's too close to the glass, and he's trying to just let it glide off the glass and kiss in. It's not working. Gaines gets it on top to Ripko, trying to drive in. The fadeaway jumper will not fall. And Easton May brings down the rebound. He's pulled down by Ripko, and that'll be his second foul. Uh, East of May took a pretty good pop there. Mountain View with the lead with 5-10 to go, 26-24. to As Conkle will bring it up. Picked up there by Gaines. Stops, double team, fires it over to Sanders. Sanders just leaves the ball there and it's taken by Mountain View. Down they come the other way. Here's Ripko, another fadeaway jumper, no good. Brought down by Sanders. Gets it out to May. May all the way down is fouled in route. And the foul looks like it's going to be called on Gavin Reese. A little reach in there as Salem had a four on two. Coming back the other way. Sanders gets it in to May. Easton trying to get in the Conkle. Throws it away. It's turned over again by the Tigers. Another steal. And that is six turnovers for Salem. Long pass down low to Reese. His short jumper is too short. Tipped and brought down underneath. And then a foul is going to be called underneath. On Salem, and that will put Lucas Frazier at the line to shoot two. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Pruitt to shoot two. Foul called on Salem, and that'll be on Cade Gately, his first. Pruitt will shoot the one and one. 26 24 Mountain View, four and a half to go. First half. Free throws, no good. They're going to call that a shooting foul? Wow. Okay. All right, we'll shoot the second one. For these officials' view of what a shooting foul is in mind, they're two different things. Pruitt was driving toward the basket, had no intention to shoot at that moment, but they're giving him two shots. Missed the first, makes the second. 
27-24 as Bryson May will bring it up. Four and a half to go. May walking up slowly. Gets to the paint. Driving down low. Scoops underneath to Ethan Wilson Weber who's just in a ball game. He can't get it to go down. But back up by Richter and in. 27-26 our score. Gaines will walk it up to the timeline. Trying to get away from Richter. Goes left side pass to Reese. Reese trying to drive down low and a blocking foul called on Ethan Wilson Weber and that should have been a charge. But instead, Ethan I think may have gone down a little too soon. So Reese will shoot two. That's the eighth team foul for Salem with 4.05 still to go in the half. To the line, Reese in the free throw. It is good. Two-point Mountain View lead. This game has been very close since we started out 2-2. Next one also good. Biggest lead in this game has been five by Mountain View. They have a three-point lead right now with exactly four minutes to go in the half. May flipping it down back door to Conco. Conco only needs the basket. It's the side of the backboard. Ball loose underneath, and it goes out of bounds off of Conco. It'll be long to Mountain View. That's twice the Salem Tigers have been too far under the basket. They hit the side of the basket or the bottom of the basket going up for shots. With the ball is Gaines. Gaines to his right side. Guard there by Weber. Hanging on to the ball with 3.40 to go in the half. Gaines starts to drive in, stops, kicks it outside, and he's going to get finally called for a travel. Third turnover by Mountain View. As May will bring it up quickly to Conkle in the offensive zone. Conkle trying to look inside. Nobody there. Outside it goes to Richter. Richter right in the middle of the floor at the top of the key. Now to Gunner Conkle. Conkle. Looking, 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 puts it down to Weber. Weber puts it up and in. Nice job by Ethan Wilson Weber to get beyond Pruitt. He lays it home again, a one point ball game with Mountain View on top. Here's Ripko out near center court. Ripko flips it left side to Reese. Reese gets a pick, ball knocked away by Easton May. Now down low, kicks it on outside. They get it to Gaines. Gaines back on top to Frazier for the three pointer. No good, but brought down by Ripko. Puts it back up and in. Those long three-point shots. Salem's waiting for a rebound down below the basket. They're going to kick out high, and nobody's moving. And Mountain View has had a good job of being able to field those rebounds. And the Tigers turned over again as May tried to hit Conkle. Missed him. Pass was behind him and went out of bounds. 2.35 2.35 to go in the half. 31-28, Mountain View. Gaines brings it right to the middle of the floor. Kicks it outside to Ripko for a quick three. It's way too short. And comes down and out of bounds as Easton May. Give it all the effort he can to get the rebound, but unfortunately is out of bounds. So the rebound give it to Easton May, but then out of bounds he goes and gives the ball over to Mountain View. Inbound comes to Ripko, beyond three. Right side pass to Gaines, a three-pointer. It's good. And a six-point Mountain View lead. Too many turnovers here. Salem Tigers with nine here in this first half. With the ball, out to Richter. Down low to Weber. Weber shot off the glass. It's good. Two minutes left, the first quarter. I should say first half, 34-30 Mountain View. Gaines in the offensive zone, out near center court, starts driving in, stops, kicks it right side to Ripko for the three, and it's off the rim. Comes out high and brought down by Pruitt. Pruitt goes right over top of Richter. No call there. And then after the rebound, a foul called on Gunnar Conkle. Again, the Tigers not responding to that long rebound, and it comes down the hands of Pruitt. And they're going to actually call it on Richter, not Conkle. So Carter Pruitt to the free throw line with 144 to go, and the free throw is good. (laughs) 
He's got another one coming. And it is good as well. 36-30. Tigers in their road. Navy Blues with the Carolina Blue numbers. As May brings it in, stops, kicks it over to Gunnar Conkle. Conkle hanging on to it. Back out on top to May with a minute and a half left to go in the half. Bounce pass right side. Getting it over there is Brendan Hangers in the game for the first time. Down to Weber. Down low to East of May. He waits, and the man goes over top of him. That's Carter Pruitt, and that'll be the fifth team foul for Mountain View. I'll say that was on the floor, no shooting foul. Conkle to inbound it. Gets it inside to May. May off the glass, missed it. Brought down by Pruitt. Long pass to Ripko. Ripko all the way down from 10 to jumper. Will it be too short? Brought down there underneath, but back up and missing that one was Frazier. Wilson Weber with the rebound. Back to Conkle. 36-30 our score. Salem's had chances. Missing from two, three feet. Here's May. May almost walks with it outside the Conkle. Under a minute to go. Now the hanger. Hanger inside the east of May. The gunner Conkle from the free throw line. That shot goes down. Start the pinball out. Trickle back in. 36-32. Gaines walking up slowly to the timeline. Gaines flips the left side, Ripko. Drew Ripko hanging on to a guard there by May. Gets a pick, fires it inside, it goes to Pruitt, and a charge called on Pruitt going over Ethan Wilson Weber. His second foul with 26.9 seconds left, and the turnover, number four for Mountain View in this first half. They have not turned the ball over much at all. Half court defense for the Eagles. And I'm trying to bring it to within one or two here before half. Pass goes to Conkle. Conkle away from Ripko on the baseline. Loses it. Gives it back to East of May in the corner. May trying to drive down. Underneath intended for Wilson Weber. He gets it back. Eight seconds left underneath to Bryson May. And a shot trickles in. Two seconds left. Down to Gaines. Gaines a heave-ho and goes off of the... Backboard, but wide of the, of the net. The Salem Tigers bring that back to within two points here at halftime. They trail by one at the end of one quarter, and they trail by just two here at halftime. 36 to 34 here at Mountain View. So we'll come back with a halftime show here, and we return at Mountain View uh, Birch Street here. In this SCA contest, 36 for the Eagles, 34 for the Tigers. We'll take a three-minute break and come back. Tiger basketball on KSMO Media. Did you know that about one out of every eight women will develop invasive breast cancer in their lifetime? Your friends at the Salem Memorial District Hospital are determined to change that with their new 3D mammography machine. If you have no insurance, the hospital can offer financial assistance to help pay for your mammogram. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 729-6626 and ask for radiology. The Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're here for all of life's wins. Like when you get a new car, or new boat, or new driver, or when your son moves out, but your mom moves in, or you find out you're expecting again, or when one rental property turns into two, then 20, or you realize they're all in Tornado Alley. Life is full of life events. Make sure you have the right policy for each of life's wins. A life event could qualify you for a discount. Call me, Willie Strader, your Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance agent, and we will make sure you have the coverage you need. Have you checked out the Country Mart website at www.tcmarkets.com? If not, you really need to. You'll find their weekly specials, coupons, inside the store information, and also tasty recipes from TC Markets on there as well. Plus, don't forget to like Country Mart's Facebook page. Like or comment on it for a chance to win something from the deli, and the winner will be announced on Wednesday each week. Just another reason to shop at Country Mart in Salem. 
In a world where everything is digital, your payments should be too. Time is precious. Digital payments provide a quick and simple way to make secure purchases. The Bank of Salem recognizes the need for digital payment convenience and is excited for you to enjoy a new way to pay. We now support Apple Pay, Google Pay, Fitbit, Garmin, and MasterPass. To enroll, call or stop by either Bank of Salem location today and let us help make your shopping experience easier. Message and data rates may apply. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. New Year's savings are going on now at Napa Auto Parts Store in Salem, where right now you can find peak full-strength, long-life antifreeze and coolant for $12.99 a gallon. A Napa Garage Solutions two-sided organizer for $9.99. Mobile d diesel engine oil as low as $14.99 a gallon. Stop by Napa Auto Parts Store at 604 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem for more great savings. Out of town and want to know what's going on in Salem? How the Salem Tigers did? Or who may have passed away? There's only one way to get that information quickly, and that's by going to Your World Today online. Go to KSMORadio.com and click on the Your World Today button and you'll get the latest edition online or check out the Your World Today archives. And if you are in town, pick one up in any of the 30 plus locations in Salem and Bunker. Your World Today, they're free! Welcome back to Mountain View, Missouri. Stan Steve was along with you here as Salem down by two here at halftime to Mountain View, 36 to 34. And it's been a very, very close game all the way through. Biggest lead in the game, six points by Mountain View. Tigers have scored the last four points to bring that back to within two here at uh, the half as they were down 36 to 30. But that... Uh, Few too many missed in close shots by the Salem Tigers, or they very easily could have had the lead in this game. Right now, though, it's 36 34. Leading scorer in the game is 14 for Drew Ripko. He uh, really is very, very hot right from that high post area and inside has a couple of threes as well. And then 10 points for uh, Terrell Gaines as he's had a couple of threes in there for Mountain View as well. Then it goes down quickly, the three points for Carter Pruitt, three for Brody Rutledge, and then two for Lucas Frazier, Gavin Reese, and Dylan Cooper. Mountain View, seven of nine from the free throw stripe in that first half. For the Salem Tigers, the league score is Bryson May with 12. Gunnar Conkle has seven. Trey Richter has five. Four for Kate Gately and also Ethan Wilson-Weber. And a couple for Easton May and seven for Gunnar Conkle in the contest. Salem 2 of 2 from the stripe in that first half. Nine turnovers for Salem and two steals. And for Mountain View, four turnovers and four steals. Mountain View has 13 rebounds in the first half. Salem Tigers finished with 11. Foul trouble. Trey Richter has three. And Easton May has two. Drew Ripko and Carter Pruitt each have two for Mountain View. 36-34, and the JV earlier tonight won uh, pretty easily, as a matter of fact, 69-41 over the Mountain View Liberty Eagles JV. Again, that reminder, tomorrow night, the Lady Tigers makeup game with South Iron, originally scheduled for 6, will be starting at 5.30. That's a varsity game only at South Iron. Our next contest on KSMO Media will be Thursday when the Lady Tigers Host the Viburnum Lady Jays at the Salem High School Gym. 6 o'clock with a JV. That will be streamed on the video stream on the KSMO Media side. And then the varsity game to follow at about 6.30 on KSMO Radio as well as KSMO Media video stream. We're at halftime here at Mountain View. 36-34 Eagles back in 90 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Keeping life simple can be a challenge, but not when you're switching to Progressive Ozark Bank. Plus, Click Switch allows you to move your direct deposit with one click. You can also use Switch Assist to move all of your automatic bill payments and subscriptions. Click plus click equals switch. Get customized alerts ranging from security to activity balances and more. Big banking technology at your local hometown bank, Progressive Ozark Bank. FDIC insured, they are an equal housing lender where people matter. 
This is Mike Elliott from Town & Country Insurance. As an independent agent, we shop many different companies, allowing us to find the best value for our clients. Town & Country Insurance has been serving South Central Missouri since 1963. We have offices in Salem, Rolla, Licking, and Mountain Grove, and would welcome an opportunity to show you what we can do for you. Stop by 400 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard, located inside the Town & Country Bank, where you can call our office at 729-6624. There's a lot to do at the newly renovated Salem City Park. Headlining the activities is the totally rejuvenated Alice Lou Craig Municipal Pool that offers visitors and residents of all ages a full day of fun. The park also includes a brand new splash pad adjacent to Billy's Playground, Salem's new all-accessible playground where children with different abilities can play together. The park has numerous ball fields as well as pavilions that are available to rent for private outings. For more information about the Salem City Park, visit the Salem Park and Recreation Facebook page online. We're getting ready for the second half. Don't forget, Thursday night after the Lady Tigers game. Blues hockey returns to the airwaves. They'll be taking on the New Jersey Devils after the All-Star break. That's Thursday night on a delayed basis right after Lady Tiger basketball on KSMO Radio. Real quick reminder, we'll have a double header, actually a triple header, from Mountain Grove on Friday night. We'll have the ninth grade boys game on KSMO Media video stream, and then we'll have the girls game, the makeup game from last week that got snowed out. And then we'll have the boys regular game. So 6 o'clock, the Lady Tiger varsity, and then 7.20, the boys varsity at Mountain Grove. Both of those games will be on KSMO Media. We'll video stream them both and bring you audio on both as well. That'll be Friday night from Mountain Grove. 36-34, Salem to inbound it. Officials checking everything to make sure the lineups are right to start. Trey Richter gets it into Gunnar Conkle. Conkle will go left side to May. May trying to drive down low, stops, kicks it back to Conkle, open for the three, back to May. Going baseline, lays it up and in, and we're tied. Nice pick down there. By Easton May to give that lane open to Bryson. He lays it home. Gaines flips it left side. Getting it there, Cooper. Cooper down low to Rutledge. Rutledge takes it to the hole. Blocked there by Haley, but it goes out of bounds off of Rutledge. It'll stay for the Salem Tigers. Gailey went up, did a perfect block with two hands, and it went right off the back of Rutledge, and Salem has the ball. May has it. To Easton May, to Conkle for the three, the top of the key, no good. Comes out to Bryson May, down low, turns, spins, back to Gately. Now to Conkle. Conkle, hanging on to it. Looking right, now goes that way to Richter, all the way across to May. Back to Conkle, inside it goes, tipped, goes away from Easton May into the exit area here at Mountain View. 36-36, our score. Trey Richter to inbound it. Goes all the way across to East and May in the corner. On the perimeter, kicks it out to Conkle. Conkle, 2-3 zone inside to May. Easton stops outside to Richter for the three. It will not go. It's brought down by Rutledge. Rutledge the other way. Over to Ripko. Ripko trying to drive in. Stops. Backs up. Turn, spins, goes back out beyond three, takes the three, and he hits. They will let him go, and he went out to three as Bryce and May was with him, and then let him go, and he hits the three and makes it a three-point lead for Mountain View. Richter over to Conkle. Down low to Easton May. Back to Richter for the three. It's off the front of the rim. No good. And brought down by Gaines. Gaines all the way down the other way. Knocked out, out of his hands by Conkle, but they're going to say Conkle made body contact. Gunner doesn't think so. And the officials might be talking about it. No, they're going to still give him the foul, but they're going to say it was on the floor. Not a shooting foul. So Conkle gets the foul. I thought it was a good play. It didn't look like from I'm right above him. Did not look like he made any body contact whatsoever, but the official on the floor behind the basket made the call. Pass goes across to Gaines for the three-pointer. It's short and comes down in the hands of Ripko. Turnaround jumper blocked there by Gately, but it comes right back down to Mountain View, and Frazier puts it in. 
Daly got a piece of that shot by Ripko, but it came right down behind him, didn't know where it was. And it's 41-36 just that fast. Pass over to Conkle. Conkle over to Richter. Richter going baseline. Stops, kicks it back inside the middle to Bryson May, and the jumper trickles in. Bryson with 16. Salem down by three. 5.40 to go. Third quarter. Gaines will walk it up to the timeline. Puts the left side corner to Ripko. Guarded by Bryson. Ripko getting it to, to uh, Rutledge. And the ball still in the hands of Ripko. Trying to drive in. Knocked out of his hands by Gunner. And Gunner takes it all the way down. Slips it up. No good. But he is fouled. And again, a missed layup by the Salem Tigers in this game as Conkle got down there, drew the foul, so he'll get the free throws, but did not make the layup. Foul called on Ripko, his third. Conkle to the line to shoot two. 41-38, Mountain View on top. Those missed layups, they'll kill you. Tigers just got to concentrate a little bit more. They missed, I would say, six or seven shots here within two feet. Just not putting it off the glass, trying to lay it over the rim. Got to make sure they go in. Next one is offline. No good. Brought down by Easton May. May kicking it outside. And the foul is going to be called on Mountain View. And that's going to be on Gavin Reese. Salem will inbound it down by two. Inbound is knocked out of bounds by Reese as Richter threw it right into him. Salem's got to do a little moving to get open here. Gets it inside to Conkle. Back to Reese inside. It goes to Gately off the glass way too hard. He is fouled. He'll go to the line. Now that might be Reese again as Gately. And they're going to put it actually on Rutledge as Gately went up. Reese from behind, Rutledge from the front. They'll give it to Caden to shoot two, and his first one on the way, it's good. 41-40 Mountain View. Caden will try and tie it up here, and this one is no good. Brought down, though, put back up by Richter, and he missed it. Another layup missed by the Tigers. Coming down his Gaines all the way down. That shot will go in, and a foul called on Salem's Gately. Count the bucket by Gaines. So, again, missed opportunity on the other side. Gately gets the foul, his second. And Gaines will go to the line to shoot the extra shot. And the free throw, it is good. Four-point Mountain View lead again. Conkle will bring it down the middle of the floor. Left side pass to Bryson May. Back to Conkle. Mountain View in the zone here. And the ball is taken by May. Trying to dance inside with it. Almost walks with it. Turn spins. Kicks it outside to Richter. Now on top, Easton May. Driving it all the way down. Easton... Had that ball knocked out of his hands and then did not go after it. Instead, let it go out of bounds for another turnover. Easton driving down the lane. you got to go after that ball, and he just did not. Gaines all the way down from seven. The jumper's offline, no good. Brought down by Reese. That shot blocked there by Gately. Taken by May the other way. All the way down, Bryce DeMay lays it in. Count the bucket and the foul, and I believe that will be on Reese. And that is going to be on Gavin Reese. Make it it a one-point game. With four and a half to go third quarter. May's free throw. It is good. Again, a one-point Mountain View lead here. Four and a half to go third quarter. Long way to go in this one, but it's been a close game all the way through. Here's Gaines driving down, flips it outside to Cooper. Dylan Cooper inside all alone is Reese. His short jumper too short, brought down by May. Bryson May brings it down over to Conkle. 
Conkle all the way across to Richter for the three. It's off the iron. It kicks out high and hard to Easton May. May back on top to Conkle. Giving it to Bryson May on the right side. Back to Conkle. Beyond the three-point line, they keep it. The pass goes back to May. May in the paint, down low, off the glass. Count it. And Salem takes the lead on May's 20th point. And the Tigers have a 45-44 lead. And the Coach James Lee will call timeout. 45-44, Salem back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. It's that time of the year to get your taxes done, and if you're not sure where to take them, take them to Taxmasters at 107 West 4th Street in downtown Salem. Taxmasters can handle all of your certified e-filing, and they also do accounting services, bookkeeping, and payroll. Give Taxmasters a call today at 729-3001, or stop by 107 West 4th Street in downtown Salem, and don't be a slave to the IRS. Mountain View takes the timeout. Cooper will inbound it. Richter with token pressure up front with Terrell Gaines bringing it down. Over the timeline, Gaines stops looking inside. Richter is in some pain out there, and they blow the plate dead. As the cap for the volleyball comes up, and Richter twisted his foot right on that cap and then went down like he was shot. So they're trying to repair that right now. I'm not sure they're going to be able to keep that in there. Keep trying to smack it down, but that usually screws in. Well, we'll see. Anyway, 45-44 Mountain View has the ball at center court after the officials blew the plate dead. Here comes Gaines over to Cooper. Cooper back to Gaines, trying to drive in, backs up now. Cooper. Looking right, looking left, trying to get back inside, takes it to the hole, trying to scoop it up, draws the foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot too. I'm not even sure that foul's going to be on Gately, and I don't even know what he did. He wasn't even in the vicinity. Wow. So Gaines will be at the line. Gately was not there in that play, and the free throw is no good, in and out. 3.22 left to go as Gailey checks out. Wilson Weber back in. Next one by Gaines, and this one is good. We are tied. 45-45. Half-court defense by Mountain View. They're in their white uniforms with the red trim. Salem in their navy blue uniforms with the Carolina blue numbers and letters. Conkle out near center court. Picked up there by Gavin Reese, who's got three fouls. Drive down close to May, hands it off to him. Bryson into the paint, kicks it outside to Conkle. Conkle looking beyond the line, down down to Easton May on that baseline, trying to go inside the Gunner Conkle. Not a good play by Easton, and the ball thrown quickly down to Gaines. Gaines backs up, takes it down the other way. His shot is up and good. Steal by Mountain View, the turnover, the points. That simple. Not a good play by Easton trying to force that to Gunnar Conkle in the paint. Should have taken a shot himself instead, tried to force that pass. Back the other way, Richter. Now to Easton May over to Conkle. Conkle backs out again near center of the floor. Trying to get a pick and does. Kicks it outside to Richter. Richter. Inside it goes to May. Bryson turns, spins, short jumper. No good. Brought down by Reese. Lay them down by two with two minutes and five seconds to go in the third quarter. Carol Gaines goes in the corner to Reese. Reese almost lost it to May. Turn spins, kicks it outside to Cooper. Cooper getting it across to Pruitt. Pruitt guarded there by Easton May. Trying to drive in Pruitt to the hole. Short jumper way off line. Brought down by Wilson Weber, but he can't hang on to it. And it goes out of bounds. Longs to Mountain View under the Salem basket. Gaines will inbound it. Gaines flips it in quickly, getting into Frazier. Frazier outside the Gaines for the three, and it's good. 
James with 19 points now in the game and the lead five for Mountain View. Pass to the corner, Conkle. Conkle trying to drive in to the paint to the hole. And his layup misses. And a foul is going to be called on Ethan Wilson Weber for bumping into Pruitt. Fourth team foul for Salem. Four for Mountain View in this second half. 50 45. And Coach Cardi wants to burn a timeout. 125 left to go, third quarter. 50 for the Eagles, 45 for the Tigers. Back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSM Media. What are your plans for the future? Do you need a boost to generate a new plan or can't afford to go away to college? Or your work schedule won't allow you to go? Let Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, be the boost. SBU is committed to flexibility, expertise, and the state-of-art technology. We now offer two new associate's degrees in teaching and Christian ministries, along with master's degrees in education and business. For more information, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. You may call 573-729-7071. SBU Salem Campus is your higher education with Christian principles. And welcome back to Mountain View. Don't forget tomorrow night, the Salem Lady Tigers makeup game with South Iron. That start time has been moved up to 5.30. That is a varsity match only at South Iron. Our next KSMO Media broadcast will be Thursday from the Salem High School gym as the Lady Tigers take on the Lady Jays to Viburnum. We'll have that one right here on KSMO Media. Starts with the JV video stream at 6. We'll follow that up at 6.30 with the play-by-play on KSMO Media and KSMORadio.com. Mountain View has it. It has Gaines will move down against Richter. Richter with three fouls has to be careful here. Gaines all the way down. Shot off the glass. It's good. 52-45, the biggest lead of the game now for either team. As Connell gets a pick from Weber, goes all the way, I should say from uh, Easton May, goes all the way down to Weber with a rebound, and Wilson Weber puts it back up and in. 55 seconds to go, third quarter. Salem needs a couple of steals, but they definitely need to block out much better on the defensive side here. Gaines trying to drive down low. Stops, takes a long three. It's off the front of the rim, then the top of the basket. Goes out of bounds off of Weber. Wilson Weber went over top through it, knocked it out of bounds, so it stays with the Eagles. Gaines to inbound it. They go in the corner, goes out on top to Reese. Reese back to Gaines. Gaines puts it over in the corner, trying to cut inside in a charge or a blocking foul. They're going to call charge on Lucas Frazier. Frazier went right over top of Wilson Weber. Team's fifth foul, Salem down by five with 33.4 seconds left. They want to cut into that lead here before the end of the third quarter. Here's Conkle. Guarded there by Reese. Left side pass to Richter. Gets by one man. Down low. Ball tip comes to Conkle. Going baseline. Fadeaway jumper. No good. Caught for and a jump ball. Possession arrow will favor the Mountain View Liberty Eagles. Again, Salem missing those three four-foot shots. Here comes Gaines very slowly against Richter. Gaines runs right by him. Stops, kicks it outside to Pruitt. They get it back inside. Turns Cooper's jump shot up. Two short tip. Brought down back to Cooper. Across they go. to, And no shot taken by Frazier as time runs out. We play three. 52-47 Mountain View. Back in a minute. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Terrell Complete Auto Care is a full-service auto repair center in Salem. They offer full-service oil changes as well as $2 discounts on Tuesdays for all ladies, and Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. Plus, Terrell Complete Auto Care can take care of all your auto and diesel repair needs. They offer free pickup and delivery in town. Call 729-5761. James and Sheena and the staff of Terrell Complete Auto Care are proud to support the Salem Tigers. This is Joe Brand with Edward Jones. Today's interest rates are creating real challenges for many Americans who live on a fixed income. 
Edward Jones has been helping individual investors like you for more than 130 years. If you have money coming due soon and want to hear about alternatives to possibly increase your income, help reduce your tax bill, or invest for growth potential, come see us at Edward Jones, 911 South Pershing, or call 729-3831. Edward Jones, member SIPC. 5247 on this Tuesday night here in Mountain View, Missouri. Thanks for joining us on KSMO. 21 points for Bryson May in this one, but Terrell Gaines of Mountain View has matched that, but they have Drew Ripko with 17. He's come back off the bench with his three fouls now. He and Gavin Reese each with three. Five team fouls for Mountain View going into this fourth quarter. Four for Salem. Each team still has four timeouts, so We'll see how this one plays out. Salem down by five. They have the ball. Again, did not cut into that lead before the end of that third quarter. So Conkle will go left side to May. May on that perimeter. Across to Conkle. Didn't shoot the three. Now to Richter. Back to Conkle. Conkle all the way across to Richter. Open for three. Didn't take it inside to May. Outside to Bryson. Now to Richter. That three. Oh, rimmed out. No good. Brought down and control there. High Mountain View. Screw it. Back the other way. Gaines. Gaines. Fouled by Conkle. And route. Gunner gets his second. Team's fifth. And Ripko will inbound it. Salem could not get the three to go down and then could not get the rebound. The inbound comes to Pruitt. Pruitt to gain, short jumper, not going to fall. Taken down by Conkle, almost lost it, and then gets it back and then almost lost it again. Well, it's able to flip it off. Here's Bryson May to the paint, to the hole down to Ethan Wilson. Weber can't hit the bottom of the backboard again, and a foul called, I believe, on Wilson Weber after the miss. Wow. Hitting the bottom of the backboard three times in this game by the Salem Tigers. Wilson Weber gets his third foul. This too far underneath the basket on the low blocks. Gaines comes the other way. Seven minutes left to go. 52-47. Ripko has it. Trying to get a pick here. Bumped by East of May. Nobody picks him up, and he shoots and misses the three. Garner there by East of May. Giving it off to Conkle. Conkle all the way down. In the paint. Almost walks. Goes outside to May. Easton. Back to Gunner. Gunner hanging on to it. Still 52-47 our score. Pass left side to Richter. Richter back to Conkle. Right side May. Salem not moving their feet at all right now. In stationary positions. Gunner takes a long three and he hits. He's got 11 and Salem back to within two. That was an NBA three there. Way beyond the three-point line. Didn't expect that one. Here comes Gaines the other way. Flips the right side to Ripko. Ripko guarded there by Bryson May. Ripko and May will foul him. So Bryson gets his second. And now after that foul... Or with that foul, they'll be in the one and one. So Rip go to line to shoot a one and one. Free throws good. He has another one coming. And he makes them both. Four-point Mountain View lead. Six minutes remaining. Fourth quarter. May pass to Conkle. Conkle back to May. Into East of May, right at the three-point line. Kicks out outside to Richter. Back on top, East of May. Flipping into Conkle. Salem not getting any penetration here. Mountain View collapsing into the paint. Another three by Conkle. This one's short. Gately... Trying to tip it. Ball goes out of bounds off Cooper. Now they've changed their mind. They'll say it went off Gately. Now you've got to go over the rebound. you got to keep possession. And there's no way that 
Caden Gately was going to get that possession, so it will be Mountain View's ball. Back they come the other way. So another miss by Tigers. Can't get the rebound. It's coming down, floating it in is Gaines, and he's fouled by Easton May. Well, Terrell Gaines has had a game. He's got 23. He'll go back to the line as May picks up his third foul. Eighth team foul. Sanders comes in for Easton. Good to see Colin Haven on the bench, but he's still got that wrist problem, so he has not seen the floor yet tonight. Free throw is good. Seven point Mountain View lead. Congle to May. Bryson down inside the Conkle, outside to Richter. His three is good. Trey Richter hits the three. Still a four-point Mountain View lead. Tigers only two steals in this game, but Mountain View has only five. So neither team has been very aggressive out there. Pass goes underneath. Ripko's shot no good. And Sanders lets him get the rebound and now goes outside. An easy three by Frazier. Nobody again by the Salem Tigers playing defense out there. They let Frazier have all day. And he set that ball up. And now May... Throws it away. Still in there by Mountain View. Here's Gaines all the way down, and he scores. 62-53. Points off turnovers. Unofficially, I have Mountain View at 16. Now here's Gunnar Conkle. As Salem comes back the other way, his shot will not fall, and Pruitt brings down the rebound. Nine-point Mountain View lead. As Richter takes it away from Gaines, but can't get by him to steal it. Gaines goes right side to Ripko. Ripko back to Gaines. Gaines underneath. Getting it there is Frazier. Frazier back on top. Getting it there to Pruitt. Back to Frazier for a three in the corner. It's too short. Tipped and goes down to Gately. Gately will take it all the way down. Stops and lays it in. Seven-point lead. Now coming down, a quick three, missing that one, but again, a long rebound, and nobody there. That shot blocked by Gately, and why did Gunnar Conkle left it sitting on the floor and go out of bounds? I have no idea. He knew that Caden Gately blocked the ball, and he let it go out of bounds. Inbound comes quickly, laying it up, and in will be Frazier in the foul on Gately. His fourth. Court awareness is just not there by the Tigers tonight. They're just not reading the floor. They're down by nine now, and it will be could be ten if Frazier makes the free throw. And that free throw is no good, but fought down by Ripko, put back up, no good, and kicked out of bounds. It'll be along the Salem Tigers. Sixty-four fifty-five, three thirty-five left. Salem needs to hit some shots here. They have just not shot well here in this second half. Sanders in the corner now to Conkle on top May. May. Back to Conkle in the corner. Double team back to May, and it's stolen away. Another turnover by the Salem Tigers, and here comes Ripko. He lays it in. Make that 18 points off turnovers. Now 15 total for the Salem Tigers. Coach Cardi calls timeout. 11-point Mountain View lead. They have a 66-55 lead over Salem with 3.08 remaining back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Is your back continually giving you pain? Do you constantly have headaches? Do you have numbness or tingling in your arms, hands, legs, or feet? These are symptoms, and they're a warning sign from your body. And if you'd like to know why they're occurring, Dr. Amber Duncan of Duncan Chiropractic can help. Her mission is to find the cause of the problem and correct it. Give Dr. Amber Duncan a call at 729-2321 or stop by 401 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem. Salem being outscored here in this fourth quarter. 
by a 14 to 8 margin. They are down by 11. And their inability to hit the short shots has really hurt them again. But a couple of a very soft turnovers here by the Salem Tigers have cost them points dearly going down the stretch here. Six points in this fourth quarter alone on turnovers. And that's a big difference right now when you're fighting and trying to climb back in. And that six is direct points. And so we clean up the turnovers. They only have 15 in the game, but they have been you know, some very, very pivotal turnovers as far as points being against them. May will get it over to Richter. Salem Tigers down by a bunch. The flip pass down to Gately. It goes out of bounds. Seventh turnover of the second half by the Salem Tigers there. As Gavin Riesel inbounded, giving it to Terrell Gaines. He's had a heck of a game. Terrell has. He's got 26 in this one. Comes down again, just flips it up and in. Salem will not get in his way. They're letting him come right down the middle of the floor, gets inside the paint, and just flips it up from about six feet out. I haven't seen one Tiger step up and try and get in his way yet. Here's May. May. Down the top of the key, right side pass to Conkle. Conkle back to May, left side to Richter. Back to May. May trying to drive in himself. Has that ball blocked away and taken down. And stolen back by Richter. He is knocked down there by Rutledge. And Richter has that bad knee, and he's slow and getting up. He hit that volleyball support. That's out in the middle of the floor. That came loose, and that kind of messed his knee up a little bit, and he came down awkwardly this time. He may have to come out of the ball game. Yeah, they're, they're going to bring him over. Well, that might be it for Trey tonight. He's got eight points and a couple of rebounds with 221 left to go. Six-team foul on the... Rutledge foul. Conkle gets it in. Gailey to Sanders. To Conkle. To Sanders. Back to Conkle. On to May. They don't do a lot of passing, but no shooting. And that shot not even close by Bryce to May. Off to the side, brought down by Rutledge. Back to Gaines. Two minutes left now in the game. Gaines. Comes down to the paint, trying to kick it outside. Ball taken by Ripko, but he turns it over. Flips it back, and Conkle steals it. First steal the second half by the Salem Tigers, and the foul called on Mountain View. And that will be on Terrell Gaines. So one and one for Gunnar Conkle. The minute 49 to go is Salem down by 13. Free throw's good. Gunner with another one on the way, and this one is also good. Gunner with 13 points, and timeout called by Coach Lee of Mountain View. With a minute 49 to go, 68-57, the Eagles on top. Back in 30 seconds, this is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Are you thinking about a new home, commercial building, maybe room additions, or maybe you're looking for someone to do concrete work, siding, new tile, or install a wood floor? Then you need to call Conway Construction, LLC, at 247-6468. And by the way, did you know they're now doing custom skid steer work, custom bush hawking, and can handle all of your dump truck needs? Call Randy today at Conway Construction, LLC, at 247-6468. Here at KSMO Radio, thank you for joining us. And here on 1340 AM, Thursday night, we have Lady Tiger Basketball versus the Lady Jays of Viburnum. Six o'clock, JV will stream that on our KSMO media. And then the varsity match will follow up at 630 on KSMO Radio as well as KSMO Media. Immediately following that game, we have Blues Hockey against New Jersey. 
from the Enterprise Center that will be on a delayed basis by about a half hour to 40 minutes. 149 to go. Will be Eagle Ball. Salem down by 11. Inbound pass comes to Gaines. Gaines will flip it down to Frazier. Frazier will just walk it over the timeline back to Gaines. Terrell Gaines, just a sophomore, brings it to the paint. Kicks it outside, waiting for Darius Cooper down to Rutledge. Going across that shot by Ripko, blocked, but it comes down the hands of Frazier. Back to Gaines, 125 to go. Gaines, short jumper will not go on a reach-in foul. He'll go back to the line, and he will shoot two. And the foul is going to be called on Bryson May, I believe, and that'll be his third. So Gaines, who's five of six in the stripe, will shoot two more. Good. And he has another coming. Next one, and it also is good. Nine points in this fourth quarter. He's got 30 on the night, and a foul called on Rutledge on Gately. As Gailey went up for the pass with a minute 20 to go, sent him down by 13. Stops the clock, Rutledge's third foul. Gailey is one for two from the stripe. He has eight points. He'll shoot a one and one. Free throw is no good. Comes out, taken down by Frazier. But Salem just not reacting on rebounds at all. They never even left the, the blocks on that one the other way. Ripko handing a ball off to Gaines, almost behind them, and then May steals it. They're going to call a foul. Instead of a tie-up ball, they're going to call a foul on May. And back to the line goes Gaines. Well, a lot of travel calls and stuff early on missed by the officials. That one probably was more of a tie-up ball than a foul, but at this stage, would make much difference. 70 to 57 with a minute and six to go. And Gaines hits the free throw. He now has 31 in the game. And third, that one does not go. It was in and out, but brought down there by Frazier. And now May will foul out with that foul. Bryson May had a good game, 21 points, but did not score in that fourth quarter. End up with three rebounds, but he fouls out of this one with 102 to go. Back to the line goes Gaines again. Hanger will check in. And Gaines' free throw is good. Seventy-two fifty-seven. as Pruitt checks in for Frazier. Mount View will win this one. Salem no and 17 on the year as Gaines hits that free throw. Six out of seven in this fourth quarter. Here's Hanger down to Congo, a long three. It's off the rim. Taken down and controlled there by Rutledge with 50 seconds to go. 73-57, Mountain View. Pass goes across to Cooper. Back to Gaines, back to Cooper as they play catch out near center court. They hand it off to Ripko, and he'll be fouled by Conkle. 36 seconds left. And Gunner will have his third foul, but it's academic at this stage. Ripko, who has 21 points, makes it 22. Well, this was a very close game all the way through three quarters, but Mountain View opened it up in the fourth. And led by their guard, Gaines, 
They have dominated this fourth quarter. On top, here's Hanger. Hanger thought about the three. Down to 26 seconds left. May as well take it as May kicks it outside to Sanders. His three is too short. Comes down in the hands of Gaines. Gaines will stay back in his own zone, flip it over to Ripko. He'll stand out at center court, and this one will come to an end. 74-57, Mountain View wins it over the Salem Tigers. Tigers still winless on the season. Back in three minutes with some stats from this one. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Have you had a fender bender or crashed your vehicle? Come and see Jadwin and Smith Auto Body and Auto Care for all of your auto body needs. They have over 20 years of experience of putting vehicles back in mint condition. Take your vehicle to Jadwin and Smith Auto Body and Auto Care at 1202 West Simi Rivers Boulevard in Salem across from Walmart or call 729-3900. Locally owned by Tim and Wendy Smith. Hometown Processing in Salem has processing dates available for February and March. Call Hometown Processing today at 573-729-7278 to reserve your date. These openings will not last long. Hometown also has packaged beef or pork available. They have it all. Hometown Processing, located at 3450 West Highway 32 in Salem. For more information or to book your animal processing, call 573-729-7278. The winter car care sale is going on now at KH Auto Supply in Salem, where you'll find a Superstar battery terminal protection kit for $9.99, Rizzle engine treatment for $6.99 a quart, and Lucas Oil Stabilizers $12.99 for the 32 ounce size. KH Auto Supply, your Park City Auto Parts store in Salem. Park City, yeah, Park City, Park City. Hi, I'm Andrew Wynn. Town & Country Bank makes it easy with the best rates and terms on land and mortgage loans. Hit the trail, make a splash, or enjoy a beautiful sunset. Town & Country Bank can help you finance that beautiful acreage you've always wanted. Stop by today and let us help you take the first step to home ownership. Town & Country Bank. Smart, friendly solutions. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS 899-641. Hi, this is Justin Hubs and Gage Salbuber with Big Iron Realty. That's right, Big Iron not only auctions equipment, Big Iron also auctions land online, alerting over 350,000 registered bidders worldwide that your land is up for auction. Big Iron Realty's marketing is unrivaled. Email blast? Check. Marketing campaign? Check. Social media? Check. Radio? Check. Drone footage and produced video of your land? Check. Auctions sell faster than listings. For more information on how to get your land sold, visit BigIronGuys.com. That's BigIronGuys.com. I was surprised. I was definitely surprised. Yep, we had no idea. Totally surprised. Um, can you say jaw drop? Who knew? State Farm with these great rates? The surprise everyone's talking about is the surprisingly great rates for home and auto insurance from State Farm. Especially when you combine them. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Cameron Irway in Salem today at 729-3056. Here at Mountain View, Missouri, it was the Salem Tigers taking on the Eagles in a very close game for three quarters. But in the fourth quarter, it was all Terrell Gaines, and he finishes with 33 points as he scores in that uh, th- fourth quarter just all by himself, 12 points, and led the Mountain View Liberty Eagles over the Salem Tigers by 17 tonight at Mountain View. Again, this is a one-point game after one quarter, two at the half, and just five at the end of three quarters. Salem Tigers got the ball to start the fourth quarter, could not score, and then uh, ended up giving away three turnovers fairly early in that fourth quarter. All three ended up in the basket the other way, and that kind of broke the game open, and they couldn't make those short shots again. They really struggled at that this year. Uh, Layups and even those short just putbacks. Uh, Three times they hit the bottom of the basket. That might happen once in... You know, 10 games, three times tonight, the Tigers were too far underneath the basket. They go up, and their shot hits the bottom, the rubber bottom of the basket. So just uh, just the things just aren't working out well as the Tigers just could not get going and couldn't get on track. They got a lead a couple of times in that second quarter, but that was it. 
and then fell to Mountain View tonight, 74-57. As I mentioned, Terrell Gaines with 33 points in the game, and also Drew Ripko with 22 points, led Mountain View. Nine points for Lucas Frazier, then three points for Carter Pruitt and Brody Rutledge, and two each for Gavin Reese and Dylan Cooper. Leading rebounder was Brody Rutledge with seven, and four each for Pruitt, Frazier, and Gaines, two by Cooper and Ripko, and one by Reese. 18 of 24 from the free throw line was Mountain View. They had 25 rebounds in the game, uh, finished up with seven turnovers, and they finished up with seven steals. The Salem Tigers, their leading scorer was Bryson May with 21. Gunnar Conkle finished with 13. Trey Richter had eight in the game, left with a little bit of a knee injury there. Hope he's okay. Caden Gately had seven, six by Ethan Wilson-Weber, and then a couple by Easton May in the game. Leading rebounder for Salem was Easton May with six, four for Gunnar Conkle, three for Bryson May, two each for Trey Richter and Caden Gately, and two for Ethan Wilson-Weber, one for Hayden Sanders in the game. Salem seven of ten from the stripe. Uh, Bryson May did foul out of the game with 102 remaining in the contest. Salem was 16 turnovers, three steals on the game. They had 19 rebounds in the contest. When we return in three minutes, we'll get you set up for our next Tiger action for you here on KSMO Media. 74-57 Mountain View. Back in three minutes, this is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Hi, I'm Lisa Delaney, swing bed coordinator at Salem Memorial District Hospital. What in the world is a swing bed, you might ask? It's a Medicare program that allows a patient to remain in a hospital and receive therapy or skilled nursing services prior to going home. Call 573-729-6626 for more information about using a swing bed to improve your life before going home. We are committed to every patient, every encounter, every time. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're here for all of life's wins. Like when you get a new car, or new boat, or new driver, or when your son moves out, but your mom moves in, or you find out you're expecting again, or when one rental property turns into two, then 20, or you realize they're all in Tornado Alley. Life is full of life events. Make sure you have the right policy for each of life's wins. A life event could qualify you for a discount. Call me, Willie Strader, your Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance agent, and we will make sure you have the coverage you need. Have you checked out the Country Mark website at www.tcmarkets.com? If not, you really need to. You'll find their weekly specials, coupons, inside the store information, and also tasty recipes from TC Markets on there as well. Plus, don't forget to like Country Mart's Facebook page. Like or comment on it for a chance to win something from the deli, and the winner will be announced on Wednesday each week. Just another reason to shop at Country Mart in Salem. The Bank of Salem is part of the MoneyPass ATM network. MoneyPass has nearly 23,000 ATMs coast to coast, and the network continues to grow. MoneyPass ATM is surcharge free, so you won't worry about paying a fee to access your money. Regardless of where you live, work, or travel, you're sure to find a MoneyPass ATM nearby. Just look for the MoneyPass logo and use your existing Bank of Salem ATM or debit card. It's that easy, and it's all part of our commitment to providing you with superb products and services. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Napa Auto Supply has your cold weather chemicals. Peak all-in-one windshield wash for $3.49 a gallon. Max Thermal Aid, $2.29. And a 20-pound bag of ice melt for only $6.99. And diesel 9 fuel de-icer for $9.99. Plus, ask about the $20 rebate with the purchase of a new battery. Stop by Napa Auto Parts Store at 604 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem. What's the fastest way for you to get yourself up to date on the latest in news, sports, weather, and obituaries that cost you absolutely nothing? It's Your World Today. Serving Salem and Dent County now for over 20 years, Your World Today is four pages of information that will take you about five minutes to read, and they're available in over 30-plus locations in Salem and in Bunker. Your World Today. Pick one up every weekday. They're free. Tigers fall here to Mountain View, 74-57. to Don't forget, tomorrow night, the Salem Lady Tigers will be at South Iron. They will be there with a start time of 
30. That game has been moved up to 5.30 tomorrow night. That will not be on KSMO, and that will be a varsity match only. No JV tomorrow at South Iron. On Thursday, the Lady Tigers will take on the Viburnum Lady Jays with the varsity uh, game being on KSMO Radio and on KSMO Media. The JV at 6 will be the two quarters of JV will be on KSMO Media, the video stream only. And immediately following that game, Blues Hockey will come your way on KSMO Radio. On Friday night, we will be at Mountain Grove. We'll have three games, a freshman game at 5, the ladies varsity game at 6, and the boys varsity game at 720. The girls varsity and boys varsity games will be on KSMO Media, streamed with audio, and the freshman game will just be video streamed without audio from Mountain Grove. So a lot of uh, basketball coming your way, and next week it's busy as well. Remember, the Tigers have added games with Viburnum Monday night. will not be there for the Monday night game at Viburnum as the Lady Tigers will host Ava. We'll be at that game at the high school gym. Then on Wednesday night, Salem will be at Sullivan. We'll be there to bring you that game here on KSMO. And then Thursday, they'll take on Houston, and the boys and girls will be there uh, playing varsity games back-to-back. We'll bring both of those games to you. And then the boys' game with Thayer that was postponed Friday night will be played Friday night at the high school gym. So a lot of basketball coming your way here on KSMO and KSMO Media. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for Jim back at the station. Appreciate you joining us. Another tough loss to the Salem Tigers. Tight ball game for three quarters. Just could not stop Gaines tonight as Terrell finishes with 33 points. And the Tigers lose it by final score of 74 to 57. Have yourselves a great evening. Good night from Mountain View, Missouri. Keeping life simple can be a challenge, but not when you're switching to Progressive Ozark Bank. Plus, Click Switch allows you to move your direct deposit with one click. You can also use Switch Assist to move all of your automatic bill payments and subscriptions. Click plus click equals switch. Get customized alerts ranging from security to activity balances and more. Big banking technology at your local hometown bank. Progressive Ozark Bank. FDIC insured. They are an equal housing lender where people matter. Salem Tiger Basketball on KSMO has been brought to you by the Salem Memorial District Hospital, K&H Auto Supply, Town and Country Bank, Farm Bureau Insurance, Willie Strader Agent, Country Mart, The Bank of Salem, Napa Auto and Truck Parts, Progressive Ozark Bank, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, Town and Country Insurance, the City of Salem, Tax Masters, Southwest Baptist University Salem Campus, Terrell Complete Auto Care, Randy Conway Construction LLC, Healthy Dent County, State Farm Insurance, Cameron Irway Agent, Jadwin and Smith Auto Body, Hometown Processing, Big Iron Realty. Be sure to join us next time for Salem Tiger Basketball. Right here on KSMO.